Hi, Elizabeth. It's lovely meeting you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. You know, let me tell you that I'm a huge fan of the show. And this season, I guess, it's so emotional and, and it's so moving. And at the same time, it's funny. So how was it for you? How exciting is to be part of the crown? How happy are you? And, and how was that moment when you knew that you got the role to play Princess Diana? I guess there are a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, no, I'm really happy that you that you love the show. Um, it, it was it, it's an amazing job to and, and it was an incredible moment when I was asked to do it. I was I was like you, I was a huge fan of the show before and I never really thought that I would do it. I just loved it. I was one of those people, I genuinely, you know, that thing when the new season comes out and you think this is amazing and now I can just sit down for two nights and finish the whole thing. And... <laughs> like you were dreaming about that. You somehow kind of like manifest, right? May that desire. Maybe I did. May well, I mean, I have to say as an actor, I couldn't think of a better sort of job to step into in terms of what it does and the quality of the storytelling and the performances and so you know and, and that in and of itself is a big responsibility but um, it's it's been a joy really to do it. The House of Windsor should be binding the nation together, setting an example of idealized family life. It's a situation that cannot help but affect the stability of the country. I guess it's beautiful, honestly, the way you capture Diana's essence, your performance, it's like absolutely incredible. So how hard was it? Um, what was the biggest challenge? And what was, I guess, the hardest thing to achieve from her? Her character, her movements, what would you say? It's kind of, there's like two things that happen in the process of getting into the character and one of them is sort of very technical the the movement element of it the dialect element of it it's all very technical and muscular and you're trying to you sort of have to do these big workshops to try and understand because it's not just about doing it like we know that these people do it it's also trying to understand why they move in a certain way why they sound a certain way where it all comes from so that was fascinating and then and then there's this kind of slightly not tangible thing that's happening where you are absorbing this information about a person's life and their history and 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 you receive it differently because of my life experiences i receive that in a different way you know and different things resonate with me and people will never understand how it's really been for me i never stood a chance and what happened to you the first moment you saw yourself as diana in the mirror that first impression that's a good question. I think I was... Um... They pay me for that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, it was kind of... Uh, I won't forget it. I mean, the thing is, it's a process. So so the, the way, for instance, the very first wig and that hairstyle, which is so distinctive of that period of the 90s, and... It, it takes a long time to get the shape and the color and everything. So it's many, many, many fittings. And then I think it was really the first time I was sort of, the hair and then the makeup and then the costume and then the jewelry at the end. And you kind of pick up the handbag and that, that first time I saw it, I remember thinking, Wow. wow. And but I think we were for me, so shocked with your physical resemblance. It's amazing. Yeah, I it's think for me it was more people's reaction to it on that very first day that made me feel more confident about it, if you know what I mean. As a fan, favorite season of all, obviously not including this last season. That is so hard. I don't know. I think I think for you know, in terms of the way I received it, the first season was such an incredible experience. But then my very good friend, um, Vanessa Kirby, plays Princess Margaret in season two, and she was yeah. phenomenal in that. So incredible. maybe yeah. that one because of her. But but then, of course, then em, what Emma did in four was amazing. I, everybody's no, it amazing. was amazing. Last question really quick, because they're really wrapping me. What is your favorite costume uh, you wore as Princess Diana? <laughs> I really the revenge one, the black dress. I mean, the revenge one, yes. But I think for me, I love the ones where she was. You know what? I really love the the. You see it very quickly. There's like the big Harvard sweatshirt and the, and the gym shorts and the, that is so iconically Diana that I I really had fun wearing that. Remember the one condition, the one rule. You remain loyal to this family. Who is silent? 
thank you so much for this time. Like, honestly, I can't wait the world to watch this new season of The Crown and especially your performance as Lady D, Princess Diana. It's just incredible. Thank you deserve you. All, all, all the awards for this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. Bye-bye. It was Bye. lovely meeting you.